What is up, Sumo Wings? How's everybody doing? Uh, that was pretty pretty cool to see how everyone's summer's been going. We got a lot of eights, nines, and tens, which is which is awesome to see. Um, all right, well, thank you guys for joining us. Super excited today. We have a very special webinar. This is one of our highest registered webinars, which is also super cool to see. Uh, today, we are joined by Ovi, the co-founder of Social Bee, which is killing it on AppSumo right now. And for those of you who don't know, Social Bee is an all-in-one social media tool that lets you schedule your posts, curate your content, and grow your audience. It is available right now on AppSumo for just $49 for lifetime access. Um, this is, what, is this your second time being on AppSumo? Uh, it, it can actually be counted as a third because we did it properly the first time and then we also were a part of the Black Friday deal That's that you got right. had yeah. uh, this previous Black Friday. Yeah, Black Friday is pretty crazy. <laughs> it, it sure was. Yeah. We sold out under six hours. So sold out we, in we six also got hours? Yeah, we got a lot of love from the people who managed to get in the deal, but also a lot of complaints for people, <laughs> for people who missed it. So we said that okay, we're gonna uh, we're gonna come again to make sure that we make everybody happy. Awesome, awesome. Well, we're glad to have you back. Um, for let's see, I see a couple things in the comments. People are saying audio is good, videos a bit a bit blurry. That should clear up in the next couple minutes. We got a lot of people on here right now. Wow, I was I was saying just before we clicked broadcast that I was wondering if we are gonna break 100 people on here. We're at about 95 and now we're at 127, 128. It's going up. We got a lot of people here. So <laughs> apologies if it's getting a little choppy for folks, but we will also be sending out a replay after this, later this afternoon, so you can go through it then. Um, but yeah, a little housekeeping. For those of you who have questions, feel free to drop them below the video and we will get to answering them there in just a little bit, but um, yeah, let's uh, let's dive in. So, Obi, I would love to hear a bit about the backstory of Social Bee before we get into how it actually works. So, how did you guys come up with this? Yeah, so um, actually, uh, my co-founder and I we we started another startup be before this. Uh, this was uh, over three years ago now, and that other startup, which was named Nugget, was a, an app that brought quotes from business and personal development books. And by, by working on that startup, we produced a lot of content, a lot of evergreen content that we had to share uh, with our audience. And we, we managed to find some techniques that really worked for us well uh, to grow our social uh, presence and uh, to, to get a lot of uh, views to our articles and then a lot of downloads. Um, on the flip side, the product itself was quite hard to monetize. So uh, we were not able to turn that into a business, but we realized at one point that all of these uh, tools which we built internally to uh, to do, to deliver that and to to run our social media were really valuable. And then we we talked with a few people. Uh, we saw there was a lot of interest. And when we managed to sell the first license, even though like the version one was Google Sheets hacked together with Zapier integrations and buffer integrations and some manual work and things like that. So even though um, uh, it it was relatively hard to uh, to to use. Uh, we saw that people were willing to pay for it, so we we realized that okay, there's something there, and then we doubled down on on social B, and we've been working on social B full time since for a little bit over three years now. Three years, wow, long time. That's great. And so, what uh, yeah. what are the social media accounts that you guys link to? Which ones can people use? Yeah, so we uh, we are actually um, uh, integrating with all of the major social uh, networks. So this means that you can post directly on on Facebook. And uh, for people, for maybe uh, not everybody knows, but Facebook, uh, after their whole Cambridge Analytica fiasco, uh, removed the possibility for you to be able to post uh, through third party apps like ours on personal profiles. So you cannot do it, and nobody can do it anymore on personal profiles. We managed to find a workaround via our uh, mobile uh, notifications app. So that's for personal profiles. But then we can post directly on Facebook pages on Facebook groups that you're an administrator of or where that group has the Social B app installed. Uh, we can post on LinkedIn personal and company pages. We can post on Twitter. Um, we can also post on Google My Business, which is the most recent one. And a lot uh, of people have been uh, using us for that because there, there are a lot of other tools out there that can post automatically on Google My Business. So that's very handy, especially for people who are having a local business. Uh, and then we can also post on Instagram and Pinterest, but on both of these cases, it's through an integration. 
Uh, that's because uh, both Instagram and Pinterest are quite uh, protective at this moment with their APIs. So they don't have any public access to the APIs, only uh, private data uh, where you it's really hard to get in. You need to either spend millions with them or really have a very high uh, position in, uh, in especially in Instagram. So if anybody, somebody there uh, at very high level, do let us know. But how we managed to work around this is that we have an integration uh, with, with Buffer. So basically, if you have a, an Instagram business account, you can post directly through Social B via our Buffer integration. And by the way, also a free Buffer account works. Uh, with a free Buffer account, you can connect up to three pro profiles. And then there's a limitation of 10 um, uh, posts in the queue. But we don't hit that limitation because the posts actually sit in Social B. We just use uh, Buffer as a delivery mechanism. So that's not going to be uh, an issue whatsoever. And uh, the same goes for Pinterest, where we, we managed to do that integration via Hootsuite, a free Hootsuite account we also do. So basically, we handle uh, all of these major social networks. Uh, we don't um, integrate with some of the more niche ones, but we feel that these, these are the main ones which are used by uh, most of the, the marketers and small business uh, owners uh, nowadays. Awesome. Great. Uh, so how does, uh, how does social B kind of differentiate from some of those other tools you mentioned, like Buffer and Hootsuite and, and some of those mobile or uh, social scheduling tools? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a very good question. We had people uh, saying that social B is like a buffer on steroids. <laughs> and uh, uh, the good steroids, I hope. Uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, what uh, what uh, they mean about this is that, so for example, with, with Buffer, and I'm going to go with this because a lot of people uh, are familiar with Buffer. Buffer is like a queue-based posting system. What this means is that you have your one queue, you keep adding things to your queue. When, uh, when the, there's a time for you to post, uh, things get uh, pulled out from your queue. And then once you don't have anything in the queue, nothing goes out, obviously. And there are two problems with this. One is that if you want to have a good mix of content across the different types of content that you want to share, so for example, promotional content, curated content, something more light like some memes or quotes or things like that, your own blogs, uh, and so on. So if you want to have a good mix of these types of content, when you add things to your queue, you need to make sure that you drag things around in order to really have them in mixed in a proper way. While in social B, you just have the content categories and I'm going to, I know we're going to showcase the app soon. Uh, we're going to have the content categories and then we will uh, basically um, add content into each of those categories and we schedule categories instead of scheduling uh, specific posts. So what this means is that you will have easily uh, the best content mix uh, across your uh, social networks without you having to always be mindful of what did I share last, what should I share next, uh, are there 10 promotional posts in a row and so on. And then the other benefit is that, especially when it comes to evergreen content, so this is content which is relevant today as it will be a few months uh, or even years from now, um, you, you can and should be sharing the, that type of content more often. So for example, the, the, most of the times you work quite a lot to build some blog posts, um, you invest a lot of time and maybe even money in them, you share them once and then they're gone. But you shouldn't, you shouldn't just do that. Um, uh, well, in social B, if a category is said to be evergreen, this means that we're going to post the items from that category one by one until we get to the last post and then we just jump to the first one again. So this way we will recycle uh, the content that you, that you want uh, and you don't have to always spend time to always schedule things, the same things again and again. Awesome. So, so I'm understanding it correctly. So within social B, <coughs> when you're putting in content, you're specifying which category. So it could be promotions, it could be evergreen, it could be blog posts, something like that. And then all of those are getting pulled in by, by the category, not just by the queue. And then something like evergreen, you can just continue to build up that, like that category page of this evergreen stuff. And then it's just always going to be cycling through. So it's getting constant promotion and things like that. That's exactly it. So for example, um, nowadays, like quotes are not as popular on social media as they used to be, but especially a <laughs> they couple used to of be years very ago, popular. They used to be very popular indeed, but people still like them. Uh, and uh, I think they still have a, a, a place uh, in, in the social media uh, schedule. And I'm going to give this as an example because it's the easiest to understand, but it works for any type of content. So for example, if you have a quotes category, what you can do is that, um, you schedule that category to be shared once per day, every day. Um, and then each day you add a new quote and that category is evergreen. What's going to happen is that at the end of the year, you will have 365 quotes in that category and you don't have to worry about next year and the years to come. 
that's a bit of an extreme example. Um, maybe yeah. you don't have to plan your content one year uh, in advance, but uh, uh, you can do the same thing with some some very good uh, articles that you curate and you want to share multiple times, or with your own blog posts, especially the the evergreen ones. So you you have a lot of flexibility there. Yeah. No, that's great because I mean, you think about how many people put together like the ultimate guide to Facebook ads and then they tweet it out once and it's like, you spent 20 hours putting that post together. It's like, you want to, you want to get that on a cycle where like, say at least every, every month or every couple months, like you're, you're sending that out again so you can continue. Like if it's still valuable, you still want people getting their eyes on it. So instead of just having to hop back on and then create another blog post and another one, another one, you can get more juice out of the ones you've already created. That's exactly it. Our main goal is to help you save time and get better results. And Evergreen is one of the ways we do it. Categories is another way that we do it. And another uh, way which we introduced recently is the post variations. So for example, uh, in the example that you just gave with the blog post about uh, the best uh, way to, to create Facebook ads, you could create not just one social post for to promote that specific blog post, but you can create, I don't know, five or 10 with slightly different wording, Maybe in one, you feature an image. Maybe another one is just a link preview. Maybe in another one, you pull out a quote and so on. And then in Social B, what you can do now is that you can create post variations. And for the same post, you're going to create, let's say, five variations. And then each time in that, uh, uh, when we uh, have to uh, share that post, we pick the next variation line. And that mm. way, your content also uh, stays and looks fresh. Um, you just spend a bit more time in the beginning because you just when you're creating the post, you know what's about. You can really easily come up with five different posts, uh, post variations for that post uh, at, at that moment. So you just spend a, a little bit more time to add those in and then you're, you're set. Uh, that post, even if it's an, an evergreen category, it will be shared multiple times, but each time with the, the next uh, variation. Got it. So that way, with the same piece of content, it's kind of coming across in, in different and unique ways in and then yeah when you're putting that in the evergreen it's just pulling out whatever the next one is so it's not coming across as just you sending out the same piece every single time yeah that's exactly it. cool uh so what are some of those most popular categories that people use yeah so <clears throat> people uh, will see when they first start uh, using social media that we we try to to guide them in the right direction so when you will first create an account you will see some uh, default categories and they're um, about uh, our blogs, uh, especially, I mean, not everybody has a blog, but if you do, you definitely have to have a category for that. Promotional, let's not forget that we, we're here to do business, so we want to also promote our, our things from time to time. Uh, another one would be curated, where um, you should be sharing also uh, some, some other people's valuable content, so it's not only about you. Uh, just like Jane, uh, Gary Vaynerchuk says, jab, 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 right hook, and then the, the jabs can be uh, these valuable pieces of content. Another one could be blogs from RSS because uh, we also have a very powerful RSS integration so you can easily uh, find content this way and automate your, your posting uh, this way. And another category which we recommend and we call it quotes, questions, and fun. This is where you have a, a content which is a bit more light. Uh, it can be a bit more engaging. Uh, even though engagement has been dropping across the board on all social uh, networks, you can still uh, try to to ask some questions in there maybe or or give uh, uh, an interesting insight in your company and so on. Mm -hmm. And who are the uh, who are the main users of Social B or who who is Social B built for? Like who did you have in mind when you were building this? Well, to be honest, I'm uh, I'm part of the startup world and I love the startup world, so I, I had the startups in mind. But uh, and startups are one of the users which which are really using us a lot. But we have actually like three main categories, um, and the first one would be the the solopreneurs, and I'm I mean here like the uh, authors, coaches, uh, professional <clears throat> excuse me, professional bloggers, uh, people who are on their own, but it's the, the, they have a business out of it or they're trying to make a business out of, of the, out of their passion. Uh, the other category is the startups and small businesses. Um, and then the third is the agencies, uh, marketing agencies, most of the time, social media agencies, uh, which uh, use us uh, to deliver uh, services to their customers. Awesome. And, and are those kind of three groups of people, are they using Social B in the same way? Or are there certain like, features or categories or things like that that you do notice that are different across those those categories i think depending on the type of users 
their use of social B can be a bit more advanced versus the others. Um, and when I mean advanced, it's mostly in terms of the content that they use and how they set up their schedule. Uh, and maybe also how they find out some obscure features uh, of social B uh, because we, we have a lot of them. So then there are some which are maybe a bit more hidden or more advanced. Um, but at its core, social B, as I said, is here to help time and results. It helps you uh, share your content and any type of content you want across uh, uh, your social networks. Uh, and then we also have uh, one more functionality, which was a lot more front and center when we first launched on Epsumo, uh, but we had to scale it down because of Twitter. And this is our audience functionality. So this is where basically you can find uh, relevant accounts for you to follow uh, on uh, on Twitter specifically. And we had to scale it down because Twitter went through a lot of changes recently and they uh, uh, want to fight the, the spam, which we uh, also agree with that the, there is a lot of spam on Twitter and then it sh I'm, I'm happy that they're taking these uh, measures. But what that meant is that uh, with the uh, audience functionality, which used to be called the grow functionality, you can still find relevant accounts for you to follow, but then we uh, help you find them on Twitter easily, and then you have to follow them directly on Twitter. And this is a functionality which is used, for example, mostly by the solopreneurs and also startups, not so much by uh, uh, larger companies or, or uh, marketing agencies. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, you were speaking about those kind of some of those advanced features a bit earlier. I know one of the things you guys have is the concierge service that is not a part of this AppSumo deal, but it is something that is available to people on uh, on social media. So do you want to talk about that yeah. for a minute? Yeah, sure. So basically, we, we realized that uh, not everybody needs a tool. Uh, a lot of people just need the end result. Uh, and a lot of people don't have the time or even sometimes knowledge or willingness to focus on on the social part, but they do know that every every business needs a social presence because um, if you will have one, uh, maybe depending on the industry, it won't do much for you. But if you will not have one, it will hurt you for sure. And especially if you have a badly maintained one, because if somebody checks out your website, then finds in your footer, your Facebook uh, uh, fan page link, uh, goes there and sees you haven't posted anything in three months, they will first wonder, are they still in business? And then maybe they will just think, okay, maybe they, they went away and they will move on to, to your competitors. So that's why it, it is important to have a, a good social media presence. And then with the concierge services, awesome. this is basically where our team uh, of bees, how we call our colleagues who deliver these services, are, are, are delivering these services. And we have services around growth. So Instagram growth, LinkedIn growth, uh, uh, Twitter growth as well. Um, we have services, the, the most popular one is the social media specialist, where we're actually creating one social media post per day uh, for, for the customers. Um, we also have a content writing uh, service where we write articles, uh, something for LinkedIn, uh, grow and reach, uh, and so on. And basically, these are like real humans because we did not manage to train uh, actual bees yet to deliver this service. And these are real humans that work together with you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. It's not something where we have generic content for an industry and you use that. It's really tailored to you. Uh, we, we have uh, intake forms where we ask uh, questions about you. Then we jump on a call with the customer whenever it's needed, if, if, if that's uh, needed. And then we stay in touch mostly over email after that. And obviously, because it's humans who are delivering this service, we could not offer this as a lifetime deal. Uh, but our, our our prices are quite low as they are uh, and with not so high margins. So that's why um, uh, you will see that you can get a lot of value uh, with relatively low prices. And if you just go to socialb.io slash concierge, you will see all of them there. And also in the app, uh, we have a page where you can just book them and buy them and then we'll get in touch uh, for the delivery part. Awesome. Awesome. Well, it looks like uh, people are getting pretty antsy to see this demo. Uh, so before we jump into that, I just want to remind folks again, you can ask your questions below the video. We already got a bunch of them down there, but that's where we're going to be going through at the end to get those questions answered. We might not get through all of them. It looks like there's a lot, but we'll get to as many as we can. And uh, yeah, uh, but without further ado, Ovi, if you want to, if you want to share your screen and give a give a bit of a walkthrough for Socialbe, let these folks know how they can use it. Yeah, let's do that. And uh, my colleagues uh, Anka and and Vlad are also. Uh, in the chat so they will also support you as we go but um, um, if there's any question un un unanswered till the end I'm happy to to provide the, the answer awesome. awesome so can you can you guys see my screen 
Yeah, let everyone let us know in the comments. You got you got the uh, shared screen as we go through it. Yep, yep, yep. All right, looking good. Okay. Sweet. Perfect. So this is the the social B, and for people who saw social B a couple of months ago, uh, they they might uh, think this is uh, quite different already because we moved our menu to the left, so it allows us to grow with more functionalities uh, uh, as we keep growing, um, but also for for uh, for more uh, advanced features. So basically, here we're we're in the dashboard. Uh, when you first go into social B, uh, you will not have any connected accounts, uh, but I'm going to show you how you can do that. Uh, what's important to know here is also that you can see that if the content is set to running, things will be posted. If it's not set to running, nothing will be will, will be posted. So make sure that you have the content set to running uh, once you, you finish with that. And I will jump first to the profiles and settings to show you uh, exactly how you can connect uh, your profiles here. So if you go from here profiles and settings and go to social profiles you will be able to see which profiles i have connected here and my facebook profile is set to be via reminders as i told you uh, that's the only way which is possible for anybody at this point and then you will be able to connect your social profiles from here it's just a simple connect hit the whatever profile you want to connect next 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 and then you will be good to go i will come back to to this part later on uh, we also have uh, workspaces so these are only part of the pro features, and in order to be uh, to to use the the pro features, you will have to upgrade to a pro twenty five account uh, from within licenses. Once you connect, so once you redeem your AppSumo code, in you go in licenses in Social B, and you will be able to uh, connect to the to to buy the pro twenty five one time upgrade. It's still a one time upgrade, and then the workspaces. These should be used especially by agencies, but then also businesses that have multiple businesses under the same group let's say when you want to to separate uh things nicely uh and this is especially helpful for agencies that want to have a workspace for each separate separate customer and just so you know we have workspaces uh in place already and we are also working on users and roles which should be live within uh, a month or maybe a bit uh, more a bit less uh, we'll see how how fast we can move uh, to to do that good so Content. This is where the this is where the magic happens when it comes to social media, uh, because content is, uh, is is king on social media, obviously. And excuse that my my laptop will be moving slower. It always happens like this when when there's a screen sharing, and you can see here which content categories I have uh, in social B. And as I said, you will have some uh, default ones when you first sign up. Uh, I have uh, created some other ones. You will be able also to edit them from here. Uh, change them from evergreen to have them to be share ones, have some advanced settings here like UTM parameters, uh, link shorteners, and so on. I won't go into that much detail at this point. Use the bulk editor, edit them, and so on. Or you can just create a category from here. And then if you go into a category, you will see the posts which you have in that category. So you can see all of the posts which I have in, in, in this category. Um, you can see that each post also has this approved status, so you can even work in a team where somebody has the content, somebody else removes it. Uh, you can see the previews uh, to see how each of these posts, which would look like on, on uh, each of the social networks, and so on. And you will be able also to see that you can customize the posts for, for the different social networks. This is just a slight customization where the, the, the name from LinkedIn is changed to the Twitter handle for, for the Twitter, um, and so on. And um, let's let's now try to add a post to one of these categories. So um, let's go uh, and, and see uh, the categories again. And if I'm going to hit add the content, this is where uh, most of the time will be spent by creating this post. And somebody recently just published, we found out uh, about this um, uh, article where somebody includes one of our email sequences as, as a best practice. So this is our team before we switched offices and we grew quite a lot since since then. Um, and I will uh, I will go on and say that I want to share this in my articles about social B category. I will first select the profile that I want to post on. Let's say it's my Twitter and my LinkedIn, and then I will paste uh, the the link in here. Uh, I, I know I'm talking fast usually, so I'm sorry if uh, if it's if it's too fast from for some. I will try to to slow down down from time to time. <clears throat> So as you saw, we already managed to pull the link preview where we picked the main image, the title, uh, and so on. And now I can go ahead and just create some uh, a post uh, for, for this uh, link. I can say, happy to be included in this amazing 
guide. Good, this would be one post. But now let's say that I want to, to customize it so it's not entirely the same for Twitter and for, for LinkedIn uh, and maybe for, for Facebook as well. And what I can do here, and by the way, I don't know if you noticed, but we are offering you live preview as we do this. So now I'm gonna hit customize for each profile. And as you can see here now, you can just add something um, specific or you can really change everything for each of the uh, different profiles. And then for example, on Twitter, I might want to say guide with a hashtag. Um, on, on Facebook, for example, I want to add just uh, an emoji. So let's say maybe I want to put the uh, celebration emoji and then this changed just for, for uh, Facebook. And then for LinkedIn, maybe I want to leave it as it is. And then, as I told you, we also have variations. And let's say I want to share this a few times and I want it to come up with, with different messages. I can just hit the add a variation button and then it's gonna create a, a copy of, of the same post. And let's say that this time around, I don't want to share this as a link preview, but rather as, a, uh, as an image and then have the link in there. So as you can see, I already put the, uh, we, we put the link preview in there. And then let's take maybe a, a screenshot from this. Uh, I should have said this before. Let's take this, this nice screenshot. I'm gonna save it and then I can upload it here. And then this time for, for Twitter, it's gonna be the, the link uh, in the text and the image. I can do the same for, for Facebook, for example. Uh, again, removing the link, uh, it will move the, the link into the, the text because it's not a link preview anymore. And then I added the image. And especially here, I could have different images with different sizes for, for the different social networks. <clears throat> and here you can see the two variations. The first one is with the, with the link preview. The second one is the one that I created with the, the image. So you have a lot of control uh, over how this will look on each of the social networks. And if I want, I can add the post already as approved or not approved. Um, I can add it to the top of the queue or to the bottom of the queue. I can also say, okay, I want to share it right away and then also add it at the bottom of the queue. Or I can also post it at a specific time. <clears throat> and especially if you're coming from a Hootsuite or Buffer world, you will be, um, you will be thinking that, okay, I have a post, when do I share it? On which day and at which time? But you shouldn't uh, think of this, uh, about this like that with, with social B because except when you have uh, some very specific announcement that you want to do at very specific times, most of the time you really don't care for a very specific post to go at a very specific time. You rather have to care about sketch, uh, scheduling categories and I'm gonna show you soon how to do that. But if I want, I can also do that. Let's say I'm just gonna say, okay, add this to the top of the queue. And then especially if it's a, because it's in an evergreen category, so this will be reposted. I can say, okay, I want to post this, but not forever. I want to expire it once um, this specific date is hit, for example, or uh, I can also say, I want to expire it once it was shared three times. Let's say I just want to share this three times, not to over annoy my uh, uh, audience and that should, that should do it. And then I'm going to hit at the post to, to save it. <clears throat> and it's uploading the post uh, right now. And as I said, feel free to, to ask any questions in the chat in the meanwhile, because my colleagues are here to, to help and answer those, those questions as well. So now if I will go into articles from, from Social B, uh, you will see that it will show me the, the uh, post which I created. Um, it says image not verified because this specific article doesn't have that OG image tag uh, for uh, for Facebook uh, created. And then uh, this means that um, uh, Facebook can, could pull another image, but most likely it's gonna be this one. You can see this is variation one, this is variation uh, two. You can also see the different, uh, uh, how, how it looks differently on the different uh, networks. So you can see that on, on Facebook and on Twitter, I added the image, so then it's uh, an image post and then the first variation is a link preview and so on. Good, so now that we have the, the categories created and we have content in the categories, we would have to go and, and set up a, a posting schedule. And this is again where the magic of social B is, uh, where uh, 
instead of scheduling specific posts at specific times, you're scheduling categories. And you can see here my posting schedule, and this is very specific to me. But when you first go into Social B, again, we will give you the option for you to, for us to generate a, a default schedule for you, which is based on best practices, both when it comes to posting times and also to, to what categories should be posted when for which profiles. So I would suggest at least you give it a go with that specific uh, schedule. You can delete it afterwards. You can just scroll to the bottom of the page and hit delete all schedules from here. And then if you want to add a new posting time, you can easily hit the add the post button, say for which profiles you want to post, uh, from which category, and you can choose a, a specific um, category uh, or just say, okay, I want a random one, just pick something from a random category. Uh, you can say, okay, I want uh, this post to go out uh, uh, on this day at, at this time, and then we would create that specific post uh, uh, for you. Then uh, you can also uh, easily just filter, uh, which uh, you can see it was created here. You can filter if you want to just see, for example, let's see what am I posting on, on LinkedIn. It's from these categories. Uh, so you can have a very good overview of the types of content that you want to share. And we, we got to, to this part because we, we realized that um, uh, most uh, social media managers and most social media specialists have this type of schedule either specifically in an Excel sheet where they're thinking, okay, on this time I need to share uh, a content from this type of uh, category, or maybe sometimes they just do it intuitively. But, uh, but once you create this, it also helps you free your mind. You don't have to think, okay, what type of content should I share next? You just have to make sure you have the right content in the right categories, and then social media takes care of everything else. And an alternative view of the schedule overview is, uh, is this one, uh, the schedule setup, which is per profile. And why I like this view is that here in the bottom, we will also going to show you some scheduling stats. So what this means is that you will see each category, how often you're posting from that category on which day. Um, so you can see if you're oversharing maybe the promotional post and undersharing your own blog post or some, some other category. So you can easily tweak it. So you have the best content mix that you can have. And then uh, you would be able to go to your next post to see the posts which we have, uh, um, which which are going to be shared next on your on your uh, social profiles, and you can see that next I have a, a quote from the Founder Magazine um, um, type of quotes uh, because it's a, it's a nice image quote that I want to share. Then I have a blogs from RSS a category, but because this one is empty, I don't use blogs from RSS anymore. Uh, nothing will be shared from this category. Then I have a curated content. Uh, and, and then you can also see there's a, a, a random one, a promotional, and so on. So you can see each time from which category it is, at which time will this be shared. If there's an image or a video, you can uh, see it uh, like that as well. So you have uh, full control over what's going to be posted next on your profile. And you can also put this uh, either, as I showed you from the dashboard, you can set the whole schedule on running from the dashboard or just from here from your next post. Um, and then you can also view the same thing as a calendar. I won't go into it right now, but you can you can also view your, your next post as a calendar if, if you prefer that view. Uh, in my case, I prefer the, the, the list view. Okay, so now I, I've shown you the categories, how you can create content, and how you can set up a schedule, and how that schedule will look like in practice, uh, what's going to be shared next on, on your profiles. I will go back now to the, to the content side of things to show you all of the different ways that we can import content for you. So one of the very powerful features of Social B is the RSS integration. So if you don't know what RSS is, it's basically a, a way for, it's not for humans, it's mostly for, for software like ours to, to talk uh, with, with your website basically. And all of the WordPress uh, blogs have this feature, but uh, also a lot of other platforms have this. And what this does is that basically whenever you share a new blog post on your blog, you will be able to see um, you will be able to, um, th that blog post will be automatically added to the RSS feed. And then we check that RSS feed uh, on an hourly basis, look to see if there's a new post. And if there is a new post, then we can create a, a social post within Social B. And uh, you can easily hit the uh, add the feed uh, button from here. I'm going to just go and edit one to show you how this looks like. So basically, you can say for which profile you want to share this specific post, um, in, in which category that uh, that uh, that post should go in uh, what should be the the feed um, the the exact URL so this is most of the times is the the website and then slash feed 
and then also something very powerful where you can add at the end the uh, via and then uh, maybe mention the the uh, author's handle or maybe put a hashtag startups or hashtag marketing uh, at the end and then each time when um, we will find such a new post we will generate that post with the title of the article uh, the main image if we can pull one and then we will add at the end this uh, this append text from here and you can put in here whatever you want and uh, as a side note i also have uh, team ferris's uh, rss feed set, set up and i have it mentioning uh, at team ferris uh, and then a couple of times he retweeted me just because he probably saw that i'm sharing his content uh, constantly but i didn't do anything about that specifically it was social media that did that and uh, I'm not saying that everybody should add uh, Tim Ferriss and you will be retweeted by him. But if you want to be uh, in somebody on somebody's radar, this is a good way to do it. Uh, plus, it's an easy way for you to share valuable content um, automatically. And then depending on the level of control that you want, you can add this post as approved or as not approved. If you add it as uh, not approved, uh, basically, you would have to go in and from time to time check what posts were added to this category. Uh, make any changes that you want to those posts um, and maybe delete the ones that you don't like and mark the ones that you do like uh, as approved uh, or you can just leave them automatically as approved and then they will be shared uh, the next time uh, when this category is uh, is scheduled and just like we with creating posts you can set to expire a post after a specific number of times or after a specific number of uh, days or even months Let's say, okay, after four months, I don't want to share this content anymore because I might think it's a bit outdated. And again, we have some more advanced settings in here, which I will not go into uh, right now. Similarly, we have uh, the same functionality with Pocket, where uh, in Pocket, you can also select which categories you want, on which in which category you want to, to create a post. Uh, and then for people who don't know Pocket, Pocket is a, a handy plugin that you can use in your browser to save articles that you find across uh, the, the web, you can save them for a later reading and you can also tag them with specific tags when you save that. And for example, if I'm gonna uh, save articles uh, that have the tar marketing, let's say marketing, um, then whenever I will save something with the tag marketing, um, social media will find that and will create, for example, a post in these for these two profiles uh, in this category with this uh, append text and so on. So this is also quite powerful. And let's say you're a team, you can share one pocket account with the team. Anybody can save that article uh, in a specific tag, and then you can you you have a lot of flexibility of how how you can use this. Good. <clears throat> then we have also a lot of ways for you to import your existing content. So we have a uh, import links functionality where you can just add the links one by one, and you can easily import your existing content or if you're doing content curation yourself, you can find 10 articles, let's say, just put them here one by one, and then we're gonna generate those posts. Um, same for the CSV import. If you, for example, are migrating for an, from another tool and you want to, uh, you were able to export your content from there, or uh, you just have your, your feed in a CSV format, which is an Excel-like format, you can easily uh, import it all in here. And I will not go into too much detail at this moment. Then we also have a bulk media import where if you have, for example, if you're, um, um, you, you have some products that you want to sell and you have a lot of product pictures, you can easily upload them, all of them here in one go and then go in and edit the captions. Uh, so you uh, save a lot of time by doing this. We also have a Zapier integration. So uh, Zapier is one of my favorite tools. And this is a tool where you can connect different RSS feeds, uh, different, um, different tools together, basically. Uh, it can be, for example, when um somebody sends uh, you an email you create a, 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 a post in social b with the content of that email i don't know if some why somebody would want to do that but if you if you want you can do that uh, with zapier the possibilities are really endless because they integrate with over 1000 tools at this point then we also have a browser extension so you can uh, use this to to save a lot of time uh, you just have it installed and then uh, use it across uh, the web and then we also have a content approval screen and uh, the, the content approval screen is really helpful when you're working uh, in a team or um, with a VA or even with our concierge services where our team can add the content as not approved. Then you can go in here, select, okay, I want to see only the posts which come from the social media specialist and then um, make any changes that you'd like there, approve the ones that you'd like, delete the ones that you don't like. 
these are just different tests that uh, that um, I created. But this is a very powerful screen when you're working in a team. And then especially uh, once we have the users and roles functionalities rolled out, and you will be able to invite your um, your customers, uh, you will be able to just tell them, okay, uh, use the content approval screen uh, to approve the, the post that you create for, for them. Good, so this was this was, uh, the content. Uh, I've, I've shown you uh, most of uh, what's important here. I've also shown you in posting how you should set up your schedule overview, uh, how you can do your next post and so on. Then we have the, the analytics uh, functionality. And uh, this is a functionality which is uh, a, a bit more, more recent. And basically uh, this shows you uh, how your uh, account has been progressing and how your content has been prog progressing. So you can see here in, dash in the dashboard, how many new, for example, now I'm on my uh, LinkedIn profile, I can see how many new connections I, I got uh, each of these days, which have been my, my top performing post in, in the, the uh, last period uh, and so on. And then similarly under post history, you will be able to see which post you shared recently and then uh, share it by recent or by likes, shares and comments uh, and so on. And we also have an, an insights module uh, on our roadmap where we will be able to, to tell you, okay, you should do more of this type of content but because the nice part about also uh, having the content in categories, we can easily then show you which categories work best for you, uh, maybe which times work best for you um, and so on. But that, that's still on, on our roadmap. Uh, then uh, if we go to the audience uh, functionality, and this is where the, this is where the, um, this is where the grow functionality used to be before. This is this is Twitter only at the moment, and you can find relevant accounts for you to follow. Under user, and I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna touch briefly on this. Um, under user search, for example, you can find people who have specific keywords in their bio. So if I'm gonna look, for example, for photo, photographer UK, I will see that this person has a photographer in their bio and probably also uh, UK uh, in there. Yeah, you can see it in their, their title. Then we also have a lot of filters that we can include here, like what's the location in the bio, when did they last tweet, how many friends they have, how many followers, what's their following to follower ratio, how old is the account, uh, because especially the spam accounts are never uh, past the three month uh, uh, three, three month mark recently. Um, if they have an avatar, what's their language and so on. So you can easily filter the content, uh, the profiles that way. And then we don't allow you to, to follow people directly from social media anymore because Twitter uh, basically does not allow this and we had to, to change this functionality. But you can open it, uh, you can open this specific profile directly on Twitter and then I would be able to, to follow them directly from, from there. Then under competitor audience, I can go and see, for example, Y Combinator, which is a prestigious startup accelerator. Okay, who's following Y Combinator? Um, I also applied some filters here. When did the last tweet? How many friends do they have? How many followers? How old is the account? And so on. And then I can easily follow them from here because I, I might know that uh, if they're following Y Combinator, they're into startups and they might be interesting in, in what I have to share as well. Then similarly for keyword search, I can look for tweet people who are tweeting about a specific keyword. This can be either a hashtag or just a regular keyword. So again, I can engage with them or, or um, start a conversation uh, or just follow them directly uh, on Twitter. And last but not least, we also have the non-followers where basically you can see the people that you're following, but they're not following you back. So you can easily unfollow them from here. Then um, just uh, we're, we're getting towards the end. Um, you will be able from, from this uh, to see uh, what have been the latest changes uh, in our app. We have a, a, a public change log which you can access in, on, in changelog.socialb.io. So you can see here uh, what have been the recent uh, um, updates and, and news that we have for you. We also have a, a help menu. And here you can uh, ask us questions and feedback. Plus you can also use our uh, in-app chat for that. Uh, we have a help documentation which sits in help.socialb.io, which uh, I really recommend that you use. And you can also schedule a, a success call. So basically you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with somebody from our team where if you have further questions, uh, you will be able to ask them. Uh, be advised that especially because of the AppSumo uh, craziness, uh, our, our team is quite booked nowadays, uh, but you can use this functionality. We also have a public roadmap um, where basically you can see what are the things that we're working on uh, in the next period. And then this also links out to a Trello board where you can see a bit more detail uh, about all of the, the, the functionality which we're 
have already in progress or which are are scheduled and you can even comment and and um, and uh, upvote some of these things good um then we also have an affiliate program which might be interesting for you to use and then we also have an onboarding so when you first go into social media you will see this massive orange uh bar there which uh, i know some people like but some don't you can just easily hit the finish onboarding uh, bottom from here and then you will be able to to get rid of that but that will that will walk you through the onboarding flow when you first start using social b okay last but not least profiles and settings you can change your personal info from here add the email address change any notification setting that you want um you can uh, update your license from here and as i said because you will be on a uh, accelerated lifetime license you will be able to upgrade to the pro 25 for only 20 uh, for only 49 dollars more just one time and then we also have higher lifetime deals here under concierge services these are the services uh, and you can see some of my colleagues here who are delivering these services you will be able to see the services that we have and you can easily uh, book them from here um they're, they're quite inexpensive uh, considering that we are putting a lot of uh, effort into them then under workspace settings you will be able to uh to choose a, a short you are you uh, short link if you want uh, either one from ours or you can connect rebrandly bitly or pixel me which we already have plus we will work in the next quarter to connect uh, to create uh, connections for some new url shorteners and from what i saw on trello jot url uh, rocket link and replug are uh, some of the favorite crowd favorites i know some of these had absumo deals before so uh, that, that that's no surprise that a lot of you want those integrated and we will work on integrating them uh, over the, the the coming period here is where you also connect uh, your pocket uh, you can have some advanced settings here and then you can delete the workspaces this is my only one so i cannot delete this one and that's gonna be it um uh, in in a nutshell um i know i uh, i went to to this a bit fast but uh, i hope uh, I, I managed to to go through all of the important things if you have any questions uh, uh feel free to to ask me i'm happy to answer them awesome that was great um we got a lot of questions for you so i can i can feed some of them over to you and you can you can take your best stab at answering them how's that sound sounds good and just so you know I'm, right. I'm fast now my first cup of water i'm gonna go to the second one i know i drink a lot of water <laughs> in one of the, the one of the previous webinars which i ran uh, people in the chat started to create uh, like a drinking game whenever i took a sip of water uh, they <laughs> shouted something in the chat or something like that i don't know if this happened this time but if you did I, uh, then cheers to you <laughs> <laughs> love it awesome um all right we got somebody asking uh can you can you tag people in your scheduled posts yes you can so currently we don't have uh we don't have the um the search functionality basically uh to to for for us to show you uh that those handles as we type them but for example if i will go to twitter and then let's see uh hq uh to get this handle i just have to copy this one the same goes if i'm going to go to facebook and then uh, i would go to social hq i just have to copy that one and when uh, when you're creating the post you just need to say hey and then that handle um and then they will be they will be tagged Awesome. Uh, Very cool. All right. Uh, all right. All um, right. We got some questions about an iOS app. Are there? Do you guys have plans for that? What would that look like? That's a good question. So um, I just wanted to to show you real quick how uh, that that we we did turn that uh, mention into a mention. So this works uh, both for for Facebook and for Twitter. We're working to have this done for LinkedIn as well. Um, with regards to the app we do have technically an app right now both for ios and android it's in beta only but the current scope of the app is to help you with the notifications for uh, these social networks which don't allow direct posting and this is specifically for the instagram um, personal profiles because personal profiles on instagram are not al allowed to post directly none of the tools can do it uh, and the same goes for the facebook personal profiles uh, none of the tools can do it since, since uh, as I told you, Facebook removed uh, that, that functionality. So what this app does is that you set up your, your content in, in Social B, and then whenever you, you have uh, that content set to be, uh, to be posted, you will get a notification on your phone 
uh, you will have all the information there. You just have to click share. You will have the image or whatever uh, content you had uh, prepared there. Uh, it's going to open up in Instagram directly. It's going to have the text. So you can just paste it so you can share it right away. Same goes for, for Facebook. Um, we are planning to also have more um, editing functionalities within our app, uh, but it's it's still not a priority for for uh, this part of the year uh, because we we have some other things that we want to build in the in the desktop app. Our app does work on mobile. I know it's not the ideal experience on mobile, but we we're working on improving the the mobile web version of the app at this moment, and then probably uh, early next year we will uh, start to to really build the, the mobile uh, app for iOS and Android. Awesome. All right. We got some uh, some questions about the Pro upgrade and how that relates to the AppSumo offer. Will it be a uh, one-time fee as well? How, do, how does that kind of work in tandem with the AppSumo offer and what's included in that? Yeah, so that's a very good question. Um, I, I think we, we would have not been here on AppSumo for the third time if we would have not been like a part of the ecosystem ourselves and would have not understood the, the needs of, uh, of a Sumo link. So for sure, it's a lifetime uh, offer uh, as well. It's a one-time payment. Um, and then um, what you can do is you can upgrade. And if you're going, I, I won't have this because I'm on a different plan. But once you redeem, and this is important, you first have to redeem your AppSumo code. Uh, so you will be on the Accelerate Lifetime Plan. And then here under Licenses, you will be able to see the plans to upgrade to higher tiers. And the higher tiers, uh, the first one is going to be Pro 25. And to upgrade to that one is going to, going to be another 49 US dollars. So basically, to get to Pro 25 is going to be the 49 you pay at AppSumo and then 49 that you have to pay uh, in social before the upgrade. So 98, let's say $100 in total. Um, and what that will do, and then if you go to socialb.io slash agency, you will see different uh, pro accounts uh, that we have. Um, and basically, the main difference uh, is going to be the number of workspaces. So it's going to go up from just one to five. And then you will also have social profiles. Instead of 10, you will have 25. And then we also have Pro 50, Pro 150, and we actually also added Pro 100 uh, at the request of the, the AppSumo community. And then to switch from uh, Pro 25 to go to Pro 50, it's basically, um, it's it's always like the cost of the 25 is the same. It's the 98 US dollars extra. So you can go up as, as high as uh, Pro 150. Um, and especially if you have a, a, a big agency or you think you will have a big agency and you want to jump on this deal while, while it's a lifetime, you can do that. And by the way, uh, we are committing, committed to leave this um, upgrade plan op open while we are on AppSumo, which is not a, an exact date, but it's going to be like probably a, a couple of more weeks. Uh, but uh, I, I'm not sure if we will leave it after that. Probably we, we will remove it. But just like with the, the regular AppSumo uh, purchase, also the upgrades are 60-day uh, are refund. We will ask you a question because we want to know why you refunded so we can uh, become better. But we, we will refund you regardless if you answer uh, or what your answer is. Awesome. All right. We got some questions about... What kind of reporting does social be offer and what kind of metrics can you track in terms of engagement or likes or things like that? Um, metrics on the posts. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's a good question. So let me go to my uh, LinkedIn again. And then here you will, you will be able to see and then you can choose the, the period uh, that you want. Uh, you can have different periods here uh, to, 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 to see for, for different time frames. Um, and depending on the network, we will share you different. We will share different metrics. Uh, we can share, for example, uh, on Twitter. We can share a bit more because they offer us more uh, on LinkedIn and on Facebook. It's mostly about likes, uh, shares, and comments. Um, and one thing which I did not show you, uh, but we do have is a weekly um, um, reports email, which which shows you how your account has been progressing. Basically, it's uh, it's more or less um, an overview of this dashboard, which comes to your email uh, every week for all of the profiles that you have connected. And then uh, we are working on more advanced reporting functionality, which I know is helpful, especially for agencies. Uh, but this is what we have uh, at this point. Awesome. And can you export that data, or is it it's, it stays in Social B? At the moment, it's just in Social B. You can just print it from here if you want. Um, but uh, we will, uh, for sure, also add the exporting functionality uh, for you to be able to present this in a nice way to your customers. 
Okay, great. We uh we got a few minutes left. Um, so let's see if we can get a couple more questions answered. And, and um, just, do you allow? Sorry, just to jump go ahead. in here for for these uh, functionalities which are more agency related. These are uh, most likely going to be only part of the pro plans. So they uh, the what 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 I'm showing you right now. Everybody has access to this. Everybody has access to the. Uh, the analytics dashboard, but those reporting, like core reporting with exporting of the uh, the reports and so on, those are going to be uh, an agency level uh, option, and they will be part of the pro plans, the the lifetime plans as well, but uh, the pro plans. So if if somebody is interested in that, uh, I would suggest to get on the pro twenty five lifetime deal while we have it as a lifetime deal. Awesome. Okay, uh, I think this is a this is a good one to uh, get to next. So. How do I turn a post that gets a lot of clicks and comments into evergreen content? Is there a way to do that automatically? That's a very good question. So at, um, at, at this moment, uh, actually the, the evergreen setting is on a category level. Um, and in, in our recent uh, updates where we redesigned the post editor, we already made them uh, available for you to see uh, directly when you're creating the post. So you can see here already if it's a share once or a, or a repost. Uh, but you cannot change them uh, at this moment. They're still linked to your category. Uh, but soon we will allow this to be part of the post and not uh, of the category, which will give you even more flexibility. Uh, and then uh, also in the post uh, uh, history, you will be able to see which posts are, are doing well. I mean, you can see that already. And with one click, you will be able to say, okay, even though this post, we can turn it into an evergreen added to this category. Uh, so that's going to be easy. For now, it would be like a manual process where you would have to go to, if, if it wasn't an evergreen one, you would have to go uh, to your uh, post history, see that it did well, and then recreate it uh, in an evergreen category. Awesome. Awesome. Um, let's see. Is your, what's this one say? Uh, I just want to see which one would be most applicable to. Uh, to do next. Uh, so do you have a, your own Chrome extension or is it only with the pocket? It is Chrome our Chrome extension. extension. So basically you can see here, um, I, I just hit the button on the Chrome extension because I was on this specific page. It was put this link here. I can also choose my workspace. Um, I can see which profiles I have and so on. So this is basically uh, as the add a post, uh, add a content uh, button is it, it similarly uh, it's working in a similar way for example if i would be on this page i just hit our uh, chrome extension and by the way we have it both for chrome and and for firefox uh, at the moment and then um, it's, um, it's it's going to save you a lot of time as well awesome all right last one what is the uh, best way for a a newbie to get some training on social well, media the, the best way uh would be to 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 watch this webinar and maybe watch it again at 0.5x <laughs> or something because i know i talk fast um uh, and then if, if you still have questions just ask us uh, in the chat right here so as i said we have a, a an in-app chat and especially nowadays because of AppSumo, we have a lot of uh, open chats so Please be patient if, if it takes us a bit of time to, to respond, but we, you will get a response. And then here under help, you can ask, uh, you can basically send us a question or a feedback from here, see the help documentation, or if you still have questions and want something which is more hands-on, just schedule a, a customer success call uh, from here. And this is going to be like a one-on-one -on -one call with one of our colleagues who will walk you through social media and, and answer any questions that you might have. Awesome. Awesome. Ovi, thank you so much for taking the time to, to go through all this and share with the community. This was, uh, this was super great. I think people got a lot out of this. So we're all very appreciative. If everyone in the comments, give Ovi a big, uh, big thank you. Let us know if you're going to be picking up Social B this time around. And uh, yeah, thank you all for, for showing up and joining us. Ovi, you have any, any final words for the community? Yeah, I just want to thank everybody as well. The community has been very uh, good to us. Uh, otherwise, we would have not come uh, the, the third time around. Um, we and you can also see it in in the comments. Uh, people know us already. We've been working on this for three years. The the software keeps improving. We keep adding new functionality and making some functionality better. We know there are, there's still some some areas where there's improvement points. Like people have been mentioning our design. Uh, we will work on that as well. But for us, it was a bit more priority to to work on on features and to, to be, bring you more uh, more power and more value 
but the design part is, is coming uh, soon uh, as well. And um, one of the other things which, which people will notice if they will uh, go through, through the comments and so on, they will notice also our, our really top customer uh, support. Uh, which is probably and i'm very happy i'm i'm not actually part of the customer support team so that's why i'm even happier to see that it's it's working so nicely uh and uh, we're here to support everybody um if you're coming from a hood suites or buffer world and it's a queue based posting system it will take some time to to have this mind shift where okay it's not queues it's categories um but once you do that that shift it's gonna save you so much time and it's gonna help you have a, a better social media uh posting and as 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 always, feel free to reach out if you have more questions because we're here to help. Awesome. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you taking the time and for for giving Sumo Langs this this great deal. So hope they'll all they'll all check it out, pick it up. As always, back with our, our 60 day money back guarantee. So thank you all for joining us. Thank you, Ovi, for for taking the time. And we'll be talking to you soon. Thank you. Have all a good right. one. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye.